Good day everyone. Our lesson today is about Art 6. We are now here in Quarter 2, Week 6. Here are the topics that we are going to discuss today, class. Number 1. Creates a digital painting similar with the masters. Van Gogh, Amorsolo, etc. in terms of style, theme, etc. Number 2. Discusses the elements and principles applied in layouting. Number 3. Applies skills in layouting and photo editing using new technologies, hardware, and software in making a poster. Number 4. Creates an advertisement or commercial or announcement poster. Are you ready to listen? And are you ready to learn class? Now, let's begin! So let us have a looking back to our lesson, to our previous lesson. So directions, analyze the sentence and fill out the missing letters to complete the words. Number one, this software is used to assist in the creation, modification, analysis, or optimization of design. And what is it? This is what we call computer-aided design software. Number two, this is a computer program that is used to generate graphical diagrams. What do you call this? The answer is diagramming software. Next in number three, these are the programs that create and edit vector graphic images. What is it? That's right, and that is Vector Graphics Editors. Now, number four, it produces three-dimensional images. What do you call this? Very good, and that is 3D software. In number five, these are employed in creating posters, flyers, and any other printed media. What do you call this? That's right, and that is desktop publishing software. Now you have already understood our previous lesson. Let us now proceed to the introduction of our new lesson today. So what is a digital painting? So our main focus here, or one of the main focus of our lesson, is about the digital painting or digital arts. Digital painting is the process of painting on a tablet and creating artwork digitally on a computer. Just like a traditional painting, it is done through computer painting software that uses brushes. Digital painting is just like a traditional painting class, but in digital painting, it is done through computer painting software that uses brushes. Example here is the picture on the right side. So this is an example. This is a uh, application which is the uh, Adobe Photoshop. What is a digital painting? Digital painting is an emerging art form in which traditional painting techniques such as watercolor, oils, acrylic paints, etc. are applied using digital tools by means of computer, a graphics tablet, and a stylus and software. Digital painting differs from other forms of digital art, particularly computer-generated art in that it does not involve the computer rendering from a model. The artist uses painting techniques to create the digital painting directly on the computer. So in this part, the digital painting is a computer-generated art, which is that the artist uses painting techniques 
to create digital painting. Okay? So, it is also the same with the traditional painting which uses canvas and paint colors and brushes. So, we have here the elements and principles of layouting technique. Layout techniques allow us to define the placement of the elements on a web page, control where they are positioned with respect to their default position as per normal flow, other elements around them, their parent container, or the main viewport or window. So the layout techniques is the basic technique on creating a digital painting or a digital art. So before we proceed to complete the image in creating your artwork, a digital artwork, you should have a layout. So for example, here is the picture and the image that I have created in Medibang Paint Pro. So Medibang Paint Pro is one of the application which can be used as a making a digital artwork or a digital painting. So this is a layout. Okay, it is not yet finished the color of the images here. So this is a an example of a layout and this is a layout technique. But later on there is a specific topic about the layout techniques that we are going to discuss today. And one of the Microsoft Office tools that we are going to use today is the publisher. Let us talk about that later. Okay, so now let us proceed to the next one. We have here four types of layout techniques. The first one is the proximity. In layout design is a technique to show relevance between elements by consciously bringing those that are related to each other like headings and associated products closer in distance. So in proximity, it is just like in creating a paragraph. So we have here the settings and the associated paragraphs in which the important supporting details to your headings in the paragraph. It is just like in uh, creating your artwork in layout techniques, which is the proximity. So, in proximity, there is a, uh, a foreground, a background, and the middle part of your drawing. Specifically, it is, uh, uh, it can be seen to landscape painting. Okay? The next one is the alignment and repetition are techniques that can help you create the base of a page layout. Arranging elements in rows by how they are related can direct the flow of information, intentionally include margins between elements, and balance the proximity between them, thereby grouping related information together. This is an effective technique not only to improve the aesthetic of the site, but also to improve readability. So alignment. If we are going to put the alignment and repetition of the drawing, we can see that the proper alignment of each image or object that you are using in the painting is just like creating a page layout and arranging elements in rows by how they are related can direct the flow of information so it means if you are for example you are creating a landscape painting there is a, a flow of information there and it has a page layout just like a page layout there. So for example, you are having your drawing there as many mountains at the back as your background and a drawing of a farm and one uh, nipa hat or one nipa house uh, that you can draw there and thereby you are grouping all together to make it a one meaning of your drawing so that is why you have you should have a proper alignment of your drawing so this is a very effective technique why 
because of the alignment and repetition of the drawing is that you can see there the proper part of the image or the object that you used in your drawing. Okay, so now, next is uh, repetition and contrast. Repetition is a technique of representing information consistently on a website by repeating a fixed design or a style pattern. So in the repetition, there is a repeating a fixed design. So if you are using, for example, if you are coloring a field or if you are drawing a uh, field in a form, uh, you are using green color. So it is a repeating, uh, re re oh, sorry, repeating to make it a fixed design or a style pattern. If you begin with green, you should begin with the dark one up to the light one. Okay, that is the repetition technique. While in number four, which is contrasts, helps emphasize the difference between elements on a website and it is used as a means to add distinctiveness to the design of individual in elements. So, in color, uh, in coloring your artwork, the contrast is uh, very important because you can see the difference of the object or images used in the painting by its color. So this is the proximity, the alignment, the repetition, and the contrasts. Okay. So we have now here the technology-based layouting and photo editing skills. So let us try to apply your skills in layouting and editing photo using new technologies. We need to understand and practice how to use MS Publisher and layouting and photo editing using your computer desktop, laptop, tablet, or other gadgets. So this is a MS Publisher and the Microsoft Publisher. MS Publisher is where you can create layouting and photo editing with the use of different uh, technologies or uh, layouting and editing photo using new technologies in using the MS Publisher. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you how to uh, lay out using or how to create a layout or how to apply the layout techniques in Publisher. Okay? Uh, Microsoft Publisher has built-in templates that you can choose for your publications needs like calendars, brochures, flyers, newsletters, postcards, greeting cards, and posters. So we are about to create later on the posters or we are going to create a poster using an, an MS publisher. So as you go on with layouting and photo editing, using new technologies in making poster, you must know the command on how to open the MS Publisher. So to open it, you should uh, click the start button if you are using a computer or laptop. Next is all programs, Microsoft Office, then click MS Publisher. The 2010 version of MS Publisher to layout in poster, click the following. Click more blank pages, scroll down until you see publication types, click on the posters folder, choose the size of your poster, click create and layout. And then also, I'm gonna show you how to create a, uh, a small banner using MS Publisher. Okay? The commands that you frequently use such as save, undo, and redo are the quick access toolbar. With MS Publisher, you have more control of your design shape and layout. It is easy to learn it if you are familiar with other programs like MS Office, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In addition to photo editing, you can edit photos in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Publisher. Okay, to begin with, open MS Publisher, insert picture, to edit the picture, click the picture format tab. 
to correct the color, click the correction command. To crop picture, click the crop command. Click picture border to add, to add borders. Now is advertisement or announcement poster. Advertising is a marketing tactic involving paying for a space to promote a product, service, or cause. The actual promotion messages are called advertisement, announcements, or ads for short. So as you can see at the right side are the pictures showing advertisement or announcement poster. So later on class, you are going to create your own advertisement or announcement poster using the MS Publisher. So, we are using advertisement to promote a certain product, a service, or a cause. Okay? So, advertisement is a short word for the word ads. ADS, ads. The purpose of advertisement poster is to communicate a message, persuade to join a worthy cause, promote a new play, or feel and inform you about the latest announcement. Commercial advertising media can include wall paintings, billboards, street furniture, components, printed flyers and rock cards, radio, cinema, and television adverts, web banners, mobile telephone screens, shopping carts, web pop-ups, Skywriting bus stop benches, human billboards and forehead advertising, magazines, newspapers, and etc. MS Publisher helps you create professional looking publications easily and quickly. Shapes and colors in making advertisement poster can be shown using MS Publisher. It has built-in templates such as calendars, brochures, flyers, newsletters, postcards, greeting cards, and posters. You can also create your own template. You can be a graphic artist who will make a poster series for one of the events in school and in your community. Emphasis to one, emphasis to none. Think of the size, shape, and color of the text and images. Arrangement of the overall ad poster illustrates visual weight. So, another information about creating your uh, poster is that you should create it simple but elegant. Okay, when we say what on what uh, I have uh, told you a while ago, creating poster, you should do it in a simple manner in a simple way okay so in creating your text and images it should be readable and clearly seen by the viewer okay so now let's talk about the activity that you're going to do in your self-learning module so here is the picture analysis so you're going to analyze the picture at the left side part of this module and then tell something about the picture give the message being portrayed by the picture or in other words you're going to give meaning on what would like to emphasize the picture next is the alignment poster so this is non-digital so it means you are not going to use any gadgets to create the alignment poster so the materials needed are the following so we have the cartolina and then the poster color using art supplies make a poster that illustrates alignment use the same requirements as you did for the previous poster show alignment and here are and here is the procedure write the word alignment write the word alignment in at least two inches high on your poster so they can be read across the room make three identical shapes or images which are close to each other and aligned along an imaginary vertical line 
which is at least one half inch from the left edge of the page. Make three identical shapes or images which are different from the first three and are close to each other and aligned along an imaginary vertical line which is at least one half inch from the right edge of the page. Align the top shape or image in each group along an imaginary horizontal line which is at least one half inch from the top edge. Align your items with the word alignment in some way. Activity 3 Direction, apply your skills and layouting poster using the following information given. You can also add pictures and other details to make it creative. Your title, class rules. Materials needed, computer desktop, laptop, tablet, or high calibrated Android cell phones in layouting photo or poster. It is important to apply proximity, nearness, or closeness, alignment, or proper position, repetition, and contrast. And here is the procedure. Number one, prepare your preferred gadget such as desktop, laptop, tablet, or cell phone for your layouting. Number two, arrange the scattered figures and place it in proper sequence according to its series of numbers. Number three, follow the steps on how to open MS Publisher. Read the instructions from the brief introduction. And for the number four, after you, do, after you do the layouting, make sure that you save it in your computer or gadget. So, this is the uh, activity that you're going to do. Okay. And this is... So, activity 1, 2, 3, and 5. So, those are the activities in modules that you are going to do. Okay. So, thank you so much guys for listening. I hope you learned something from me. God bless us all.